Welcome to this look at a new mod map on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on Bellingvolder. This is a new mod map out. I'm going to say this again by AE Mapping, is how it's written in the mod hub. Now, it's probably AE Mapping. I said this the last time I reviewed one of their maps. Anyway, 95.12 megabytes download. However, this might be the... I'm trying to think, is this the most... This has got 18 required mods. They all download automatically, but there are 18. Um, as far as what's been added in by the map maker, nothing. There's nothing under build mode, there's no vehicles, machinery, nothing like that. Apart from, if you go into build mode, all of the required mods. And like I say, 18 is quite an extensive list. I'm not even going to begin to read them all out. So, we start here. At the start farm. Down at the bottom, just there. This is the map. And as you can see, if we zoom out, it's quite a small map. That's the parameters of where maps usually are. And this is the size and scale of the map. Now, you can't buy the verges, the periphery. All around the outside, if I click on, there you go, for purchasing, you can see the bits you can purchase. The centre section you can't purchase. There's a few little bits here and there that you can't. These outside sections you can't. And there is woodland that runs around the outside. However, the woodland is just outside the boundary. So whilst you can go through the woodland and you hit the boundary sort of around here, you can't cut down any of the trees because you don't own the land. So, I don't know. I don't know how people are going to feel about that. Uh, field prices are fairly cheap because, you know, they're fairly small plots. So you can kind of work your way up. I say work your way up. You can probably get through to buying all the fields on the map relatively quickly, I guess, if you think about it in those terms. But, as I was saying, start farm is right here. On New Farmer, we start with this. Plot one, then there's a secondary farm just here with animals. The animal pens are there, but not all of them, which is a curiosity. You have to buy that plot of land for the, th the fourth one to come up, which is sheep, which is just here. We'll do that in a moment. There's another little plot here, which has got some sheds on, which I suppose technically could be a contractor's farm or a spare farmyard. Um, when you buy that, there's no pens or anything, but you have access to the sheds and stuff that are there. We'll see that as we go around. Uh, there aren't a huge amount of sell points or productions. I think it says there's 52 fields, 58 fields in total. So, I guess we should just get round. I'm looking at my notes thinking, I'm used to there being tons and tons of stuff. There's no collectibles that I'm aware of. No? So, we'll start here, at the main yard. Slot count on all three game modes is 1,084. So you start with all of these buildings and the buildings at the farm just over there. And I didn't even think about the third one. Yeah, potentially over there as well. Um, what I did, just as I often do, I, I sold... Because you can sell all the buildings that can all be sold. You see the walls here. The walls around the outside can be removed as well, demolished and got rid of. So if you want to get the slot count down or there's buildings on here you don't want to have or don't want to use or you want to start fresh with your own stuff, I got rid of all the equipment, all the machinery, all the buildings, all the walls, and I got the slot count down to 639. So you can get the slot count right down here if you wish. So buildings, barns, storage, there's loads of it. We have little bits of equipment here and there scattered around. I'm trying to remember where I saw the... everything. There we go. So we've got a little trailer in there. We come along to... This one through here. And we don't have a workshop, interestingly, at the main farm here. Although it looks like it's a workshop here. There's no workshop trigger. First of our tractors, just there. I think we start with three. Come through. More storage. Just here. So these are all parts of the uh, required mods. And then here we've got a shed with silo. The silo is 150,000 litres standard crop types taking out from the pipe there. We can remove this. Fold the blower up if you want to. Unfold it there. Lights on and off. 
So 150,000 litres storage. Harvester, tucked away in this shed here. Now I must admit, I did think that was one of those modular sheds, but it's not, that's how it comes. Header, just on the floor over there. We went across here, and we've got sort of shed with farmhouse. So we've got a sleep trigger and wardrobe trigger. Wardrobe just here, sleep trigger just there. We can't go into that part of the building, but in here we've got the rest of our storage shed. And the other two tractors. Massey and Bura just there. I didn't actually go up here. Let's have a look. We'll jump in the Massey. And we'll head on. That is the start farm. So there's no animals or anything at this one. Plenty of space. So for adding stuff in. But like I said, because it can all be removed. Actually, I was going to say that. If you do decide to remove it all, it will look like this. Okay then, to the next farm. Now, uh, I don't, I don't like to be derogatory about you know. It's a conversation I've had with a few content creators. You know, when we've done farm con and Lammer and all this sort of thing. When, when people get together, when they congregate, you talk, you have conversations, and the discussion about um, required mods occurs quite a lot. And I, I get it, you know, if um, we've had this conversation before, if the map's not yours, if, sorry, if the map's not yours, if the map is yours, but you want to use mods that aren't yours in your map, then you get permission from the, the modders and add them in, required mods. When the map is yours and the mods are yours, the question we've asked a lot is, I don't mind, why don't they just get included? And a lot of people have said, because they want people to download their mods as well as their maps. And I, I totally understand that. When it's a few, that's okay. When it gets to sort of 18 or, you know, we've had quite a lot of maps. I've had quite a lot. I don't know. It's one of those topics of conversation. Then there's a conversation about clunkiness. And if you're making your first map for your first time, I totally get it. But there are little bits like this on the map. I say little bits. All over the map, all of the tracks do this. Which, it's a tiny, tiny thing. But it's one of those aesthetic things... No I talk about things being immersive and having a natural feel to them and the layout of it feels natural. If you think about a tractor or vehicles making a turn on a regular basis, which would give you the ruts, the dirt, you know, the compacted areas around field edges and that kind of thing, it would be a curve going round. I know it's a minor thing, but it's one of those things that as I was driving around the map, it was so glaringly obvious but well, every time i got to a corner i thought that just looks really weird that it's it's a complete 90 degree um you get it at t junctions on roads and stuff like that but you still have a bit of a bend again just pointing out what's there just saying what i can see that's all so this is all fenced in now as far as i recall i don't think we can remove the fences around this one so we've come from our farm unit here, up this track, sorry, this farm here, along this track around the outside, and we are now here. So this plot, 35,540, we do that, that and that, you'll see now that the sheep one has appeared. So it's interesting that these ones are already here. I can understand if there were none, you click on it to buy it, then all of the icons appear, but for most of them to be there but one not, I'm not too sure it's done. Anyway, again, it's a curiosity. So we own the land now, just over here. There you go. We have our pigs at 15. Across the way. We've got cows at 15. Water point just through here. Or round the back here. I don't think this had a workshop. I mean, again, that's one of those. I always say that now. When you go back to FS19, FS17, people would ask all the time, where are the water points? Especially FS17, um, I suppose, more. Um, where are the water points? Where, where do you know? It's not as relevant anymore because there are so many mods for water points. You can put them in wherever you like. And it's the same for workshop triggers, toolboxes, that kind of thing. People do sometimes seem very concerned about but I went all over the place I couldn't find a workshop there are so many you can place whatever you want wherever you want it's not 
the end of the world. And then we've got chickens there at 50. So then the one that was added in in addition to is this one over here. Which is our sheep. Actually, I was just looking there. Every time I see shelving, but then I'm looking at the map and it's not showing one. It's showing the water, but it's not showing the workshop trigger. So even though I keep looking, thinking, you know, every time you see something that looks like there might be a trigger there, it doesn't hurt to have a look. So sheep here, 25. 15, 15, 50 and 25 as far as your animals go here. But if we go into our build mode, go to demolish. As I said, we can remove all the buildings. But if, I'm pretty sure the walls around the other bit over there you can. But I don't think... No, there's a lot of fields around the map that have this low fencing. Which again, it's one of those things... I, I know people, again, with maps with hedges, fencing, lots of trees, that kind of thing. People like to remove them, or at least if they're going to remove bits so they can give themselves gateways and stuff like that. But again, that's... You know, however you feel about it, all I'm doing is showing you what's on the map. So we're going to head right out to the west, follow this track along. There you go, so there's another one there. I did try to buy up bits and bobs off camera when I was doing my sort of checking and making my notes because there was a couple of bits. Every time I see fencing like this around the field, my mind says pasture. Um, but I think they're just around the fields as a boundary. I'm going to cut across the grass just here. As far as I can tell anyway. We have a sawmill just here. As I said, other than required mods, everything else is standard. So it's a fairly standard sawmill. Wood chip point just there come out from there head up to the main road so Bellingwold is a real place um, it's in the municipal municipality of Westerwold in the Netherlands it's a Dutch map but it is very close to the German border I think I'm just reading the notes it says here it is located in the southeast of Oldamt in the north of Westerwald region, the east of the province of Groningen, on the border with Germany. This was inspired by the village structure. Apparently, supermarket coming up on our left, and then we're going to make a turn. There's the supermarket just there. Trying to the turn was just here on the left. And this is that bit I was talking about with the sheds. Again, fencing around it, my, my mind said, oh, another farm with a pasture, animals, that kind of thing. So from here, we went straight across there, sawmill, up across there, supermarket. We are now at this plot here, 19,440. Do that, 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 and that. Let's say, nothing comes up, but you do have access to the few sheds there, a bit of land if you want it. And we're heading right out to the Northwest. This will take us to the animal dealer, and there's an animal dealer cell point up here as well. There's a bit of forestry as you can see, but what we'll do when we get to the northern point, and I'll show you on the map. So we are now here. If you look at the per bits you can purchase, so we've got this bit of forestry around here, then you've got this end of the field here. And then this bit on the outside we can't purchase. So if I turn the corner here. And we go out. We can walk through this. But, like I said, unfortunately. You can't cut any of them down because we can't buy them. And now we've hit our boundary. So the trees are there realistically as an edge to the map. Um... I think it would have been, I mean, it depends how you feel about forestry, but just extending out maybe around the outside, having a periphery around the outside of all those trees that would give you access to them to cut them down if you wanted to. But I guess there's plenty of map anyway, and there are some trees to cut down. I don't want to appear too picky, you know, it's just when you, that's the whole point of a map tour. Map tour, map review, however you look at it. So, 
animal dealer point just there and the animal dealer cell point around the side just down there from here we're going to run across the top of the map heading east I have to say, lighting's very nice, colour palette works well, shadows aren't too dark, we've had that on maps before. It's incredibly flat, so as far as placeables and landscaping and stuff goes, shouldn't be too much of a problem. So right across here, we come to the biogas plant. Now the biogas plant is one of those ones where you need to buy the biogas plant to get the land. So, up there at the animal dealer, we came back to there, we've driven right the way across here, and we are now at this point. So this plot here, if I'm clicking on it, select, it won't let me purchase this plot of land. But once you buy the biogas plant, I don't have got enough money to at the moment, 504, I can put some money in. Um, you will own the land here if you want to. If you try to sell it, unfortunately, this isn't, this isn't one where you can sell the buildings you can sell them back, you'll get half your money back, but the buildings don't remove, they stay there. Um, and this is a standard biogas plant, um, regular things in, digestate out, nothing over and above, uh, no additional crop types going in, no methane coming out or anything like that. It is uh, a standard biogas plant. From here, we're going to just cut across to this track, head out. This was another curiosity. Um, Again, it's a minor thing, but you now I said about there's a lot of the plots, especially in the town, you can't buy, around the edges you can't buy. If I go to the menu, and we scroll down until we get to our information page, which is there, on the right-hand side is normally where it says collectibles and how many there are. So there aren't any collectibles, um, but we do have a laundrette here. My mind was saying toy shop. Um, I mentioned collectibles already. So we've got a laund laundrette, laundromat, which is usually a wardrobe point. But here's the thing. Look. We've got this around the back, which says sell point, buy point, something along those lines. There's no blue disc come up to show you anything. There's no blue disc on the map. So we are now here. But you can't buy this plot of land either. So you can't. you can buy that around it. And I did, and nothing comes up. That's just the plot of land around it. This little plot here you can't purchase. And like I said, because there's no verges, no periphery. Um, and if we go into the menu here, I don't think it says laundromat. Maybe it will do. Just thinking. It's um, curious. Again, unless it's just been one of those situations where a mod has been used or uh, um, an asset, I think, as they're referred to. An asset has been used to put on the map to add some visual interest, and it's just, that's how it stayed. Yeah, there's nothing showing. So, yeah, that one, I was... You know what it's like. When you're prepping for a map tour and you're, you're trying to find the features, the sell points and things like that, and sometimes on maps you have to buy the land for things to show up, and, and it, it seems so well sort of manicured and put there with a the building on it and the bit behind I'm thinking, there, there has to be a way, surely. But yeah, couldn't get anything to come up. So there you go. But just so you're aware, if you spend, like I did a while, fiddling around, buying it, trying to buy the land around it, whatever it is, trying to get a trigger or something to come up, I couldn't. But that's not to say you won't, but I couldn't. Gas station, just to our right there as we come out onto the main road. If we come out onto here, we have the spinnery. Now I'm sure, again, I don't know. See, that is the symbol for a production, isn't it? With the conveyor belt. That is a symbol for a sell point. Was that a conveyor belt? I'm trying to think. Production. That's a production symbol. That's just a sell point. But weirdly, um, this is the spinnery. But it is also purchasable um, as a production. So it is a spinnery, production. Fabric wool, fabric cotton from here.
Next along the way we have got the vehicle shop and workshop. No, it's one of those ones as well, because there's no workshop at the main farm. It depends, you know, if, if you don't want to travel, if you're really anti doing that and you, you want to have a workshop at your farm. It's not a big map, so come into the workshop, and again, there are plenty of mods to put them in. But vehicle shop is just here, workshop trigger is just there. This is the reset point for the map as well, but again, resetting back to here, it's not far to go. I know a lot of people are very, it's another of those weird things, people are very divided about that. On a, well, not, not on a lot of maps, but some maps you get it still but on maps of old the reset point generally was the farm somewhere um so if you bought stuff from the store you could reset it so you didn't have to if you bought a lot of stuff you didn't have to drive backwards and forwards collecting things to take to your farm I, it, it doesn't bother me either way really but that's the vehicle shop then we turn left down here and we come to what is on the map as mill so if when when you don't own them if you've got contracts and contracts are available on this map um there aren't any additional crop types i i should have mentioned that i would have mentioned them if there were but no there aren't any additional crop types um but if you take on a contract and it says the sale point is the mill you bring it here um once you own it it then becomes the production because we've got the point there for managing or buying the production so there you go buy the mill and this is your regular um grain mill um, items in wheat, barley, um, oat and sorghum in and um, flour out. Nothing over and above that. But again, uh, this is a quite a large. I've seen this on a few different map tours. When you've got a large facility like this with lots of open area, um, it does give you a lot of scope for adding other productions in cell points, buildings, lime stations, whatever it is you want to put in it. Unfortunately, this one you can't buy the land that it's on so you won't be able to but there's plenty of land around it the grass fields and like i said because everything's flat um as far as placing stuff goes it shouldn't be too difficult at all and that that's the map if we come out of here little track just here which will run us around the back you can just see the farm buildings in the distance over there and we're heading back so, we've been all the way around, follow that track along, brings us back to the main farm. And that's the map, Belling Volder by AE Mapping. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.